go. So. Of course he'd be hitting her. He would be. 26, 33, 20. Hold 2005, so, right? Yeah, he's going to be 20. Uh, so he's going to be right over here. Well, these somewhere. are all the sequence anyway. Right? Mm, well, 2011, 2010. Okay, 2009. Yeah, 24. Father Helen, we are looking for you. And we have found you. At them. Yeah, that's. Yeah, this is him right here. Wow. So he died in, oh, sorry, 1941. Okay. Are we, uh, so we're here. Father, uh, grave. He was a priest that did the Exorcism that inspired the movie The Exorcist, starring Linda Blair. I think that was a 1973 um, film. But he was the actual real Catholic priest that did the actual exorcism on the little boy in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, they said that the boy was possessed by Satan himself. And uh, it's really weird being here right now, seeing this. I'm gonna ask some questions, Bob. You, you want to ask? Start out. All right. Okay, Mattis, you got your digital recorder. I'm gonna ask some questions. This thing's kind of the sun's kind of interfering, so I'm gonna get in kind of a shadier. It's probably not gonna. Yeah. All right, Father. Uh, Communicate with me. I want you to try to speak into one of our microphones here. They will not hurt you. I'm sure you know what a microphone is. They've kind of developed and over the years since your time. Is the devil real? haunt you? Did he, was he part of the reason that you passed away? What happened to the little boy that you did the exorcism on? Father Hallam, are you in a, I believe I'm saying your name right, I do apologize. I'm going to call you Father Walter. Father Walter, are you at peace? Want to ask questions about it? Michael, I get the uh, I get the sense that everything is incredibly peaceful here. Yeah. I find nothing that is remotely distraught or disturbed, um, yeah. and I think that this is uh, a remarkable scene. Father Walter, uh, thank you for the opportunity to communicate with you, 
Um, this is truly a beautiful day, and I'm sure that wherever you are, you can see this for what it is as well. Uh, the world is really in a, uh, in a sense of conflict right now, as I'm sure you had seen many times in, in your past while you were on the planet. Um, and I, I'm just wondering if you can find a correlation between uh, what's the turmoil taking place today and the events that you uh, encountered in St. Louis with Little Boy when you performed the exorcism. And I'm not sure how you'd communicate that with us, but uh, uh, things are really a rift right now. And uh, we need to find a way to get things together. And I wonder if you would have any thoughts that you'd like to pass. No, I'll just turn yourself off though. To, uh, to share with us. Nope. So we had a little burst for a moment, but I think the father doesn't want to communicate with that. He's yeah. not inclined. He or he has be been through enough battles while he was alive that he doesn't want to participate in some now. It's in God's hands, in other words. Yeah. True that. That's as crazy as can be, seeing that. So, Father, I guess one last thing in passing. Is there, uh, is there something amongst any of the four of us here that you would wish to convey? It's like we're Jake. It almost has a feeling like uh, many of the cemeteries in Europe does. It's just got a real solid, old, old, much older than this yeah. feel yeah. to it. Yeah, I keep looking around because I'm like thinking, I'm hearing noises or something. I can't tell because of the wind. It's hard to ascertain that with the wind and, of course, with the expressway over there. But right. we, I, I'm getting some little clicks now. But um, I think the Sabir coming back another time, a different yeah, time of day. Definitely. And to uh, have a conversation with the good Father Halloran. Yeah, we. What I'll do is I'll bring some other stuff with me too. I do use pendulums, but I don't hold the chain. I actually have it on I, a device, and I walk away. I'd bring some divining rods with, but I did have a uh, an employee named Patrick Halloran work for me for years, and his father was Thomas Halloran, who's a uh, a noted attorney in town. Uh, you know, Marquette grads. I'm just wondering if they were part of your family at some point. Um, the age actually works out that Thomas could just about be uh, related to you in some degree. He could be a, a nephew or something. Interesting. No response. Well, we very much appreciate the opportunity to converse with you or to at least chat around your grave. Yeah. And um, we wish you well in eternity. Hope you. Thank you very much, and uh, I think we'll let this wrap today at the Calvary Cemetery in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and let's uh, traverse on down the road and see what we can find there. Yeah, absolutely. Cheers. Yeah.